Obi and Little Sean Morning Show is with Esty. What it is? Power Mac 5.3. Man, who's ready for some gossip? I know it's I nasty. Am. She said. Well, this, this, is this story is. is pretty crazy, guys. Power artist J. Cole received a major death threat, and he decides to respond and totally cooperate, cooperate, excuse me, just to avoid death. Now, where there was some sicko that ended up tweeting J. Cole, and he had a gun in his hand pointing at his little sister's face. And he basically tweeted this picture with the quote saying, J. Cole, retweet me, and I'll buy your album, Born Sinner. If you don't retweet me, I'll kill my little sister. Again, that photo with his gun pointing at his little sister's face was attached to this tweet. So J. Cole sees this freaky tweet, ends up retweeting it all for the sake of avoiding the death of this little girl. Now, I hear that the police are involved, like investigating, even Twitter. I've heard they have been reached out to. They're Good. trying to investigate what's going on because this was sent, obviously, through their services. So thankfully, mm-hmm. nothing has happened that we know of. But God forbid this is a crazed fan. Yeah, they'll find them if they really, really want to. Do First that. of all, the mom of whatever daughter that is will see this picture, even though the face is blurred out, probably for the kid's safety, but in the original picture, it probably wasn't. Yeah, in the original the mom tweet, probably it wasn't. Be like, oh, really? Junior! Get out of here! Yeah, well, even J. Cole responded to the tweet. He was talking about the incident, saying it's the wildest blank he's ever seen. Like, it totally spooked him. Well, and as an artist, as an artist, that. yeah, you know, that really pulls at your heart to have to tweet that person back because you don't want to see anything happen. Anyways, that is crazy. Ass. That is crazy. Yeah, it's totally insane. There are crazed fans that are that obsessed with these celebrities that they'd be willing to do something like that. You know, and it's they'll find funny. out who it is. And this goes to all the people out there who, who think, you know, taking pictures of stuff and videos of stuff is not going to get them caught or whatnot. In your phone, there's this thing called GPS. And if the cops get a hold of something, they'll know exactly where that picture was taken, when it was taken, yeah. the GPS coordinates of it. So you can't get away from it. Yeah, I think it was a sick joke. If it was one to do that, you don't point a gun in a little girl's face. Dumbass. You know what I mean? Somebody and claim that you would just, kill her. Just for fun in the leg. It's psycho. All right, now what it is with The Voice last night, you were probably battling with your TV. What do you watch? We had Game 6 last night. He and the Spurs with the heat. The Spurs actually losing. The Heat winning 103 to 100. So, if you aren't watching that, maybe you're watching The Voice. We finally crowned the winner of season four. Who? Danielle Bradbury. What do you think? I don't even know right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm so thankful. I, I don't even... I'm sorry, so I'm speechless. Know. Well, congratulations. What an incredible season. Now, Danielle was Team Blake Shelton. So, he won... Not only did we crown the winner last night in The Voice, but we also got to see performances, uh, the legend share. We also saw Christina Aguilera. She returned. Of she course, she was a, a former judge on The Voice. Yes, she has lost weight. She, she looked P90 great. X- and she, she, she worked out. She performed with Pitbull on stage. So they looked really fun together. They Pitbull's had great energy. Pitbull lost a lot of weight. Pitbull is hot. <laughs> Shut up. The tighter his suit gets, Pitbull, the cuter he is. Pitbull got spandex suit on. Oh, my I God. I remember like a seven-piece suit on yesterday. I remember we worked with Pitbull, and this is probably back in 99 or, or probably 2000, where we worked with Pitbull, and his clothes back then were really baggy. You know, he did the chain thing and whatnot. As years have progressed, his clothes have gotten now tighter. his shoes have tied. And he has gotten sexier. So, <laughs> last night in The Voice, again, we crowned Danielle Bradbury. So, if you were a fan of hers, I know you're pretty excited. And she will be on The Tonight Show this evening. And that so was make the sure last you time you got to see uh, Usher and Shakira as judges because uh, Christina Aguilera and Celia are coming back for the next season. Nicole. And that's what it is. 350 oh, well. after with the Obi and Little Sean. Brought to you by Regions Bank. Regions, it's time to expect